Hi everyone. Today you get to take a neophyte's look at video creation. I introduced my sister to Adobe Video Spark. Now you have to understand, my sister is intimidated by the concept of video and would never attempt to do anything like this. Me, being at the other end of the scale, I'm deeply involved in all the technical details of creating some interesting and sophisticated videos. So I wanted to see her reaction and her experience. And now take a look at her video. And after that, you get to hear her thoughts and about and more about her hopes for the future now that she had this first taste. Enjoy. It's smoothie time. Hi, it's Carrie, and I'm here with my brother to make a video about solving the dilemma of making a perfect smoothie. The smoothie needs to be nutritious, provide me with enough energy for my workout, but most of all, it has to taste great. Drinking smoothies is a great low-calorie, high-antioxidant way to eat healthy. Why eat another boring bowl of cereal with no nutritional value when you can have a power-packed, delicious smoothie? A smoothie a day keeps the doctor away. Hi, it's Gord here. And for this video, I have a special treat. I sat down with my sister and we created a video using Adobe Spark video. And I just want to share with you um, my sister's uh, feedback on her experience because she's never created video before. So everybody, this is Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Gord and Gord's audience. <laughs> okay. So, Kara, tell me about your first experience ever to create a video. Well, I had no idea that a program like this existed. It was so simple and so much fun and really got the creative juices flowing. And we created a little short 37-second video, but we were kind of picky and it took us, I guess, about near near an hour in total. But we had a lot of fun and... and um, you didn't have to learn anything. So what, tell me, what were your fears about ever wanting to create video? Did they have something to do with that, the knowledge game? Well, seeing how long it's taken you to do some of your projects and knowing how technically complex uh, it was, that would definitely, you know, make me feel a little intimidated that I could, you know, seamlessly and fairly quickly create any kind of video content. But now that I've done this, I sort of thinking in my mind all kinds of other interesting ways I could use it and applications I could do. Okay, that's super. So, um, what kind of way? So, give me an example of a couple of ways you could see using this, or do you have an idea or two for something you might want to? Uh, well, immediately now? as as we were doing what we did, um, I was thinking that it would be great uh, way to create simple videos for for small businesses that have products. And I, I thought of somebody, a friend of mine I know who has a, a food product, uh, and it would be like e super easy to do a great video that they could play at at shows or demonstrations. Uh, so that was one thing. Oh, and, that uh, is a good idea for like show demonstrations. It doesn't have to be complex, sophisticated video. It's just got to have some nice music, the images, some text and a little narration. And uh, yeah, it can go a long way because uh, it's definitely a, a fun experience we had. Right. Okay. And also I would think of possibly using it if um, I'm thinking of doing my own blog uh, and I was thinking of possibly using it to do simple product or book reviews or something. Um, cause you could do that, you know, really, uh, easily without a lot of, uh, almost you know, like difficult. using it as to tell, to tell a story about a, a book or exactly. something. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you, Carrie, for sharing your feedback. And I see she has a big smile on her face, which means we had a lot of fun. So hopefully this will inspire others who have, uh, fear perhaps about taking the leap into video and, uh, give Adobe Spark video a try. Thank you.